Well, welcome. Dave Ritzko, Transstar's product technical specialist. And today we're gonna to talk about the 6L series from GM. It's a gift that keeps on giving. It's the new money maker for your shop. There's tons of them on the road, tons of issues. Uh, there's been a lot of product updates, but there's something that you can't get from GM that I believe is seriously critical on this unit. And we're gonna to refer to that as the stator gasket. Now, when you get GM kits, I know a lot of guys go out and they buy the OE kits and they said, well, it don't have as much in it as the aftermarket kit, but it's cheaper. One thing you may wanna consider when you get that OE kit is at least buying this gasket. Now here's the deal, GM says it's not replaceable. And why they say it's not replaceable or serviceable is because when they put the stator shaft into the pump cover or the stator body, they load it the way that the sprag and the converter holds. Then they torque it so it has a load on it. Again, like, you know, aftermarket guys aren't smart enough to figure that out and do that. Again, here's the deal. If this gasket goes bad, it can have delayed engagement, slips, shutters, uh, just clutch damage, anything. So you get one of these, it's got some miles on it, and you tear it apart and it looks like your normal burned up transmission. You go ahead and you do it. Now you put it back together and you get it in the car and you start having issues. What are them issues from? Again, that diagnosing comes in, but one of it could be because you didn't change the pump stator gasket. Now, if you've done these, you already know they've had updates to the stator. Again, they didn't learn from the four speed when they had rotational Vespel rings. And in other words, the rings could spin. They don't really work that great. Uh, if you remember the 4T60 series, had that same issue until they finally put a little notch in there and they made non-rotational rings. So that's one upgrade. It still has a gasket in it. So just for the ease of video, I've already popped this apart. Basically, you just take all the screws out and you take a press, drop it on the floor, however you do it. It's not a serious press, but it's enough of one because again, you gotta have the center sealed. And by the way, there's also an O-ring here. Real good idea to change that O-ring. But if that gasket, because it's under the load, and this does, could shift a little bit inside there, it basically eats this gasket up that would fit right on there. Now here's the deal. GM uses a paper gasket. So, and again, it's not serviceable. You want to service that gasket if it's bad, you're buying the complete pump cover, stator assembly, call it whatever you want. So TransTech came out with a paper gasket to replace the OE gasket. And again, it's a great thing, it works. Now you're getting into people because of the units these are going in, beefing up the engine, tearing them up a little bit, uh, heavy duty torque converters, and paper, as much as it works, and it worked for GM, it worked for TransTech. TransTech went one step further, and they're now introducing a coated metal gasket. It is much more resistant to tearing or blowing out. So again, either one will work good. Moving forward, it's going to have the metal gasket. And again, you could request one at this point if you're doing a heavy duty unit that's gonna take a good beating. You may wanna step up from the gasket or a paper gasket to the metal gasket. And again, guys, it can cause a whole bunch of issues because all these holes go into these holes 
through the gasket. And if you get a cross leak between one of them, trust me, you're going to have issues. Only way to fix that issue is peel it all the way back down and then do what you should have done on a good rebuild. So again, if you're using the TransTech kit, overhaul kit, you're covered. It's in there plus the O-ring. If you are using a GM kit, you might want to consider taking it apart, going the extra mile, putting in this gasket, and replacing that O-ring. Again, guys, if I can just save one guy from a headache, from a comeback, from a mad customer, I'd like to do that. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.